Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to discuss the vertebras and their features. And in front of us, we are looking at various vertebras. For example, these three are the lumbar vertebras. These three are the thoracic vertebras. And these three are the cervical vertebras. Let's try to look at these vertebras in a bit detail. So here you can see, this is a typical vertebra of the lumbar spine. So first of all, we need to identify the processes and parts of the vertebra. Now this is called the vertebral body. This is on the front and on the back, this is the spinous process. This and this is the transverse processes. So right and left transverse processes and these are the superior articular facets. Similarly, if you look from the posterior side, we can see the vertebral body on the front, the spinous process, the superior articulating facets, and these are the inferior articulating facets, and these are two transverse processes. Now, this is the vertebral foramen from which the spinal cord passes, and between two consecutive vertebra, there is intervertebral foramen at this level, at this level, I'll show you later. And this point between the vertebral body and the transverse process is called as the pedicle. And the part of the vertebra that is between the transverse process and the spinous process is called as the lamina. So the pedicle and the lamina, and here you can see that this is the region between the superior and inferior articular, articular facet it's called the pars interarticularis. And all these processes, these are providing the mechanical advantage to the muscles and they help in diagnosis and in prognosis or intervention of uh, physiotherapy techniques like or application of physiotherapy techniques at various spinal levels. So from now on, we will discuss some other concepts but right now, let's see the thoracic vertebra. If we see the thoracic vertebra, this is a typical vertebra. It has all the processes, superior and inferior articular facets, the spinous process, transverse process. These are the superior articular facets, and these are the inferior articulating facets. And this is the vertebral body, and this is the vertebral foramen inside. So similarly, we can see this. This is a typical cervical vertebra, and you can see that the spinous process is bifid. These are superior articulating facets. These are inferior articulating facets. The foramen transverse serum can be seen in the transverse process. So in the transverse process, there is the foramen, which is called the foramen or transverse seria, and this is the site of uh, passage for blood vessels, and that is the reason that uh, various cervical spine manipulations or techniques or maneuvers are uh, you know considered to be practiced only by the qualified and experienced physical therapists now all these features are present in almost all typical vertebras and in the next video we will be discussing about the mechanics uh, which are also called as the vertebral motion dynamics thank you very much